Well, what's up, America? This is Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I apologize for being gone so long. I had to get away uh, and uh, take a little sabbatical. Um, I've been stressed out watching all the news and trying to decide who I'm going to endorse for the presidential uh, uh, commentary. Old Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton and uh, the Donald Trump, they're the front runners. And I uh, have to decide which one of them I'm going to give a bump to. And uh, so it kind of stressed me out. And I decided, well, I'll just go get away for a while and uh, go out in the woods and uh, contemplate and think about it. So I packed up my bag and got me some herbs and put in there and, uh, and uh, stuff like that, medicinal uh, things to kind of calm you down. And so uh, I went on uh, up the river and uh, uh, climbed up a mountain, got way, I got a place back, way back in the woods, high up on a mountain, way, way up on the mountain. And uh, it takes a long time to get up there. And, uh, climbed up in the mountain and when you get there it's uh all these big tall trees and then you get a walk through those trees this is right on top of the mountain now and then you walk through these trees and you come out there in the open and there's this great old big i mean big giant i'm talking about really really big meadow and it's all flat on top of this mountain instead of having a peak on it it's all flat. So if you can visualize this big round meadow of green, beautiful grass, and then all around that is sort of these trees, you know, sheltering it and everything. And if you was to look down from the heavens at it, it'd be like a big round circle uh, with the trees around it. So that's where I went. It's a secret location I've got. And I went there to contemplate and uh, I built me a camp, and then I built a, a sweat lodge, and uh, went over there and uh, heated up the fire and the rocks and the water in the in the sweat lodge, and I went in there and uh, took me a few herbs in there with me and uh, a pipe, and uh, went on in there and uh, started to sweat out the poisons in my body and uh, trying to clear my mind and think about what I had to do and uh, who to contemplate. I mean, uh, on this uh, political campaign now between all these three uh, uh, candidates, uh, Bernie and uh, Hillary and uh, Trump, it's just so much uh, controversy and this, that and the other. One said one thing, one said the other. And that Trump, uh, he'll tweet something or another and the news media will take that little tweet and they'll decise that thing and try to figure out what he meant by it and this that and the other. He'll insult everybody. It's just terrible. The stuff that's going on and then uh, Hillary will, she'll come back at him and Bernie will come back at the both of them and I don't know you know and it's just uh, kind of uh, I remember in the very beginning of this election and somebody said when Trump run he'd suck all the oxygen out of the air and the gum if it ain't true. So anyway I'm trying to figure out uh, who's the best candidate? And uh, that could, I got to vote for one of them too, you know. And uh, well, Jim Bob he does vote, and uh, so I'm going to pick one of them, one or the other, right or wrong, I don't know. And anyhow, I started uh, thinking about it and studying on it, and medicinal while I'm taking my medicine and stuff like that, and just thinking, and sweating, and sweating it all out, and and uh, I fell into a big dream, I fell asleep, and I uh, went unconscious. And I was in the dream state of the world, and uh, <clears throat> a vision came to me. And uh, I could see, I opened up the sweat lodge, and I looked out into the meadow, and it was nighttime, and the sky was full of stars. And I looked out there, and the very center of the meadow was a fire. And around the fire was thousands and thousands and thousands of people in a circle and every one of the people had a little sign on their chest and they had a bucket of water in front of them as they sat down there with their legs crossed so they had a bucket of water and a sign around their neck 
And I looked over there and there was one vacant spot with a bucket of water. So I decided I would go over there and sit down next to that bucket of water. And I did. And the person on the right side of me said, I am a Muslim and that is my religion and I am from India and uh, I wish peace for the world. And everybody in the whole circle said, peace be with you, brother, we love you. And then the next person said he was a Jew and he said the same thing and everybody said, peace be with you, brother. And the next person said he was a Christian, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. And there was even the witches from the witchcraft, and all the different religions of the whole world were there. And all the different nationalities were there, and all the different races were there. And they all went around in a circle, and they come back to me, and I said the same thing. I said, peace be with you all, brothers and so on and so forth. And whenever it come to me, back around to the full circle, the fire blew up in a big flame. And there in the fire was a blonde-headed man and a blonde-headed woman. And they were spewing hate. They said, you can't do this. People can't love each other. They must blame each other for losing their jobs or this or that or the other. You can't do this. This is the way it's always been. You've always blamed the minority for taking your job. You always blame the illegals for this and that and the other. You can't do this. And they were just blowing up this big, big flame and it was overpowering. And you would think that everybody would believe what's going on. But they couldn't believe it. And as soon as they said this, everyone in the circle stood up and they picked up their bucket of water and they threw it on the fire and it extinguished it and it was gone. And from the ashes came a clear spring lake and the water was sweet. I tasted it and it tasted good and clean. And then I woke up and my dream was over. And I descended from the mountain and now I know who I am going to endorse for the presidential election. And that person is none of the three. <laughs>